Hi there, my name is Andrews. E3 is just a few days away, and that's why I want to talk about Nintendo and Nintendo's press conference in particular. In the past, their press conference struck me a bit odd because since the Wii and their success, they don't really have to show a lot of, of stuff. Their core market of ca well, let's call them casual players don't really much care about E3 or the stuff around it. So for me, these past few years, their press conference has been like, we have money, we don't care. But this year is different, mainly because they're gonna unveil their new console. It's called Project Cafe or something. It doesn't really matter. And we don't know much about specs. All we know is that it's at least as powerful as current generation consoles. But I guess it has to be more powerful because I don't see the point of releasing so far in the cycle in, of this, in this generation a console that it's like what is already on the market. So it's probably gonna be more powerful. The problem is how powerful? Like Microsoft and Sony probably gonna wait a year or two and uh, before they release their new console. So Nintendo is risking to be in this weird halfway step like Dreamcast was back in its day. The Dreamcast was released a year or two years before the generation and the next generation started. So its graphics weren't up there. The machine itself wasn't as be as good as the competitors. So it died. That and piracy, of course, but the point is, from a technical standpoint, that console was in this weird middle stage between PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. So I'm afraid that Nintendo is going to end up in the same spot with their Project Cafe. Because if they release a console that's kind of better than we already have, but will be worse, uh, when Microsoft and Sony will unveil their consoles, then they're going to are kind of in this half step. Of course Nintendo has a big install base with the Wii and with the Wii they show that the general consumer doesn't care about graphics or any technical aspects of the console. And the thing is that Project Cafe sounds to be like more of a traditional console like uh, <clears throat> what we know about the controller and this thing is basically gonna be a dual shock uh, type of a controller with the touch screen in the middle. I think it's going to have some motion sensing capabilities, but I don't really know about that. Uh, it's also rumored it's going to be backwards compatible with the Wii, which is kind of fine. So maybe they're going to try to cater to the Wii's audience with this thing, but it more sounds like it's more of a 360 and PS3 type of consoles, in which they're going to cater more to the hardcore gamer. If they do that, then that audience might not as much care for the Nintendo's new console. Well, who knows? At this point, it's more or less a mystery what this Project of Faith thing is. I think Nintendo also is going to talk about the 3DS, about its launch, how many units sold, oh, basic statistics. Probably maybe show off some games for it and such, talk about Nintendo's Wii success and that. But I think most of the press conference will be devoted to the new console. Because this is the place where they have to... Uh, make the press believe that this thing is actually a viable way to play games and it's kind of a competitor to what already exists on the market. So I think we're gonna see a lot of proof of concept stuff, some games that aren't ready yet and kind of have neat ideas. We'll have to see. But what do you care about the press conference and Nintendo's new console? Are you excited for it? Are you indifferent? Maybe you have some thoughts about 3DS or the Wii. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So that's going to be it for this installment of my take. Have a nice day and bye.